Check the delivery carefully against the delivery note. All items are clearly labelled. There are two depths of jet floor beam and there can be a variety of overlay sheet and concrete topping thicknesses, so check the overall construction thickness of the floor to calculate the correct bearing level. The site must be prepared correctly for installation. Bearings must be level, cured and fit to receive the precast concrete units. The ground must be free from vegetable matter and set to a level at least 150 mm below the lowest point of the floor to maintain the required ventilation. A DPC must be installed at bearing level onto all bearings, ready for the beam to be placed above. Vents need to be installed under a lintel positioned below the bearing level around the external walls of the building. There are three types of Forterra floor beam. Check the Forterra layout drawings to ensure the correct beam is being installed. There are two widths of polystyrene infill block. The floor will use a mix of wide and narrow T-shaped thermalite spacer blocks to match the width of the polystyrene infill blocks. The drawings show the blocks with a W for the wide block and an N for the narrow block. A C on the drawing indicates the location of the cut tolerance joint. In this area you need to use the 100mm deep polystyrene sheet cut to width instead of the polystyrene blocks. Only gaps narrower than the narrow block can be filled in this manner. The blocks should never need cutting to width. Do not confuse the 100mm thick inlay sheet with the commonly used 80mm overlay sheet. The overlay sheet is a structural grade, the 100mm sheet is not. Use the thermalite L-shaped JL blocks parallel to the beam to form the edge detail. These blocks run all the way up to the wall cavity at corners. This ensures that the corner is formed correctly and the beam spacing is correct from the edge. The beams must be positioned as shown on the layout drawing. Install the beams by working towards the cut tolerance joint. This allows gap size to be varied and filled with the 100mm inlay sheet. Place the polystyrene blocks in between the beams. They should be a tight fit. Complete the run along the beam with cut lengths of polystyrene blocks. Avoid very short pieces of block by adding 300mm to the length of the smallest piece and cutting 300mm off the adjacent block. Before fitting the final pieces of polystyrene, make sure the underfloor void is free of debris. Remember the polystyrene blocks are not designed for construction loads. Try to complete the concreting of the floor as soon as possible after installation of the polystyrene and tell the following trades not to stack their materials on the polystyrene. Multiple beams in the layout are often in high load areas and must be concreted together with a minimum of C20 grade concrete. All thermalite perimeter edge and end blocks need to be fully bedded with the same specification of mortar used elsewhere in the wall. The mortar joints must be finished to match other joints in the wall and cavities must be left clean. The blocks can be bedded before or after the polystyrene infill has been completed, but bedding them afterwards is normally easier. Where you have load-bearing internal walls built through the floor, use thermalite coursing blocks mortar bedded at top of beam level to maintain a structural load path and exclude the placement of polystyrene overlay sheet. Form a screed rail for the concrete topping by building up the blockwork around the perimeter of the floor to the finished floor level in the same material as the remainder of the wall. The height of this course will vary depending on the thickness of the insulation sheet and concrete topping. The edge of the concrete topping is insulated to isolate the concrete topping from the wall. Polystyrene perimeter insulation can be supplied by Forterra if required. Now, place the jet floor structural overlay sheet onto the top of the beams. Take care to fit the sheet accurately around service pipes and butt joint the sheets neatly to cover the entire floor area. Door thresholds must be constructed to eliminate thermal bridging. 
The standard Forterra detail carries the overlay sheet across the cavity, but check your client's details. Jet floor polystyrene is not to be used vertically in the wall cavity. If required, install the membrane. Jet floor can be installed with a membrane placed above or below the polystyrene overlay sheet. Placing a membrane below the overlay sheet protects the membrane from being punctured by pipe fixings, but it can be easier to place it above the overlay sheet if there is nothing that could puncture the membrane. Remember that you must not place the membrane over gas pipes because this could trap escaping gas. If required, underfloor heating can be installed at this stage. Contact Forterra for advice on underfloor heating with jet floor. Complete the floor with a structural concrete topping reinforced with fibers or steel mesh to Forterra's specification. Finish the topping to the client's specification.